Hello, dear friends. Uh, today, uh, I will talk a little bit on how to start your research and then how to carry out the different steps of research and finally up to writing or any kind of research paper, uh, particularly now in this era of artificial intelligence. Now, uh, we are well aware that since the beginning of actually ChatGPT in the uh, late 2022, but uh, people were not uh, really familiar with artificial intelligence and there were not much tools and uh, talk of AI. But uh, in, by the beginning of 2024, this there has been a storm of AI tools, AI into health, AI into research, and now all the uh, top you know, research, academics, uh, journals, the institutes worldwide, they are adopting artificial intelligence. They are investing billions and trillions of dollars into this AI and then how to uh, best we can use this in uh, for the research, for the healthcare, for the academia, and not only this research and academia or health, in the, every aspect of life. Uh, I will particularly be talking about this health and research, particularly from the medical background. And just if I go back in 2000, up to 2022, even in 2023, uh, for any kind of research that we usually start with, either we are doing primary researches uh, like case control or uh, clinical trials, cross-sectionals are even we, we used to do systematic reviews, meta-analysis, umbrella reviews and more things. Uh, we adopted a very traditional approach and approach that was previously used was to uh, get an idea of some research uh, gaps or the research topics and we used to search the literature very extensively on like PubMed, Google Scholar, Web of Science, Cochrane and it really weeks and sometimes even months to uh, uh, you know come across any uh, very well research gap or a research question or a problem obviously because you will open any of the these databases regarding any topic you will found thousands sometimes even hundreds of thousands of papers so uh, it used to be very difficult to find a research question that was not answered or any such thing but now the artificial intelligence uh, has you know it has not uh, I would say changed everything is same the research is same principles are same and the components are same but uh, artificial intelligence has made the things easier made the things quicker uh, made the things more smarter than before so it ultimately is saving your time your energy your expertise and made these things a bit interesting as well I would say so here this is a simple word diagram uh, paper and I have just written a few points, bullets regarding my experience and how I perceive this that uh, how you should do things. Obviously, uh, everyone has their own experience and their own expertise. But uh, what I have uh, learned and experienced over the past one year or more uh, regarding my research experience of uh, doing research, teaching research, all this. So uh, here is a simple outline that I would suggest you to do that. First of all, uh, as we did previously, that choose your uh, research interest area. The first bullet I have seen that choose your research interest. So what happens, say for example, uh, your research interest, it could be cardiology, it could be endocrinology, it could be related to diabetes mellitus, it could be to any surgical problem. So first just keep in mind and it also depends on where are you working, what discipline are you working and what kind of research is that. So given that, that the first, this bullet or first point is, uh, you know, it is resolved, say for example, you choose an area that is say for example, you're working on a HIV topic and now on HIV, what do you wish to do research on? Whether you are doing a research on some epidemiological factors, are you going to do, uh, do a research on its treatment aspect, its complications, diagnostics and uh, into the mortality of HIV and whatsoever. So first just uh, come across that HIV, then now the things have been easier where now, just I would say just go to the AI tools and brainstorm the research ideas, research topics, a gap with the AI. Initially, uh, that will save your time and it will open up your mind. It will give you a many things that you might not uh, be <clears throat> having in your mind. Or it, such things used to take weeks and months uh, in the traditional literature review. So in spite of going directly to literature review, you can go to these AI tools like you can go to ChatGPT, you can go to Gemini, Cloud or the Poe AI tools and just go to these any of these tools or you can use more than one and just brainstorm for ideas. How? Just you can go into these tools and ask for that, uh, say I wish to do uh, this kind of research, give a preliminary topic or title of your research or whatever you are interested in, give that uh, uh, you can prompt 
uh, into these tools that okay um, just tell me about the recent advances about the research in this area or tell me about uh, a few uh, research gaps in these area or few uh, identifiable or solve uh, you know, uh, achievable uh, research gaps in that particular area and all of these tools can be used easily freely uh, and I have uh, many tutorials and uh, more videos are uploaded on my channel. The links are given in description for all of these for ChatGPT, Gemini, uh, Cloud and Poe. All these tools, how you can use these tools for different uh, aspects of research. The videos are available and their links are given. So you can check out these. So go there and find how can you, uh, you know, brainstorm the research ideas. So once, say for example, you brainstorm some research ideas and topics and you come across some very interesting points and you know the light is on in your brain okay so that this area you are going to touch and once that is done then come to this third point and narrow down to now because now you have got uh, many research ideas are there are gaps are there you did a bit of lit, uh, literature review and you came across a specific research problem or research question you narrow down the things now and once you do that say for example you are doing uh, the research uh, problem or research question is that uh, limitations or barriers to the uh, HIV diagnosis say for example middle income countries or low income middle income countries or uh, resource stricken countries so that's kind of a research now just go into the literature review part now literature review part that previously we used to do we just uh, used to do go on PubMed, Google Scholar, Web of Science, Cochrane and more databases but these are the common and most trusted databases that you will find more literature on obviously we will use them we will do use them and will not forget because these are the main uh, databases uh, these are the trusted and you know reliable databases so we will touch them and also uh, you will take the help from uh, the AI literature review tools that will just quickly give you the relevant papers a bunch of papers without uh, you know uh, we used to do the game of these boolean operators keywords mash terms and other things for weeks and weeks and and then finding the papers and we obviously uh, always miss the papers and all these things so before even going to this PubMed Google Scholar it suggests go to any of these tools or more than one of these tools like research rabbit systematic semantic scholar this consensus AI sci space and some more are there but these are the common and very uh, you know now established tools for literature review just give and search with the random keywords related to that your research paper and you will come across a lot of paper just instantly and obviously then uh, you will have the titles of researches in these tools you will have got a small summaries and abstracts there and the more relevant papers you can so you can actually just uh, get all those papers and once you are done with these uh, AI tools for literature review now to find any missing papers to find some papers that you, these tools could not find because these tools have their limitations I'm not going into those details uh, and then just uh, go and have a tour of this at least two to three of these uh, uh, you know trusted databases like PubMed, Google Scholar, Web of Science and other things and also see the uh, now papers there and see that if you are you found all the related papers uh, from those AI tools and there are not much papers that are uh, different from the ones you found on AI tools then it's okay it save your time but obviously you will always find some papers that there will not be on these AI tools so just get those papers from this these uh, databases and that's it come across your your literature review part will be completed that you got some papers say for example you got 50 papers 100 papers or initially you got 200 300 papers so those all related papers are there with you and once you got them just go into your reference manager Zotero I love it's the most widely used or it could be your EndNote or Mendeley initially build a library uh, you will build the library from these AI tools as well and from your PubMed and first bring those all papers into your Zotero library and then they start the process of your uh, screening for title and abstract as we do in the, uh, our systematic reviews, meta-analysis uh, or when writing the introduction and discussions of our primary researches or even just only for finding, uh, only for finding just, uh, you know, uh, uh, research gaps with these tools. So just once sure that process is complete and let me tell you that uh, all the I mean more than one tutorials and videos for all these tools research rabbit semantic scholar size they are all available 
on my channel links are given and you can watch those as well that how to use these tools for literature review and once uh, your uh, Zotero library is complete you got all those papers you have screened and then finalize the number of papers that you are uh, going to use for your uh, research paper writing your manuscript writing and then start writing and obviously in uh, the similar way that I discussed uh, in the writing these AI tools of all the, this like this ChatGPT, Gemini and Claudia and LLM, they all will help you in writing, refining and making a very good manuscript and how you can do uh, uh, writing with these AI tools, uh, these videos are also available on my channel, the links are given, you can uh, just watch them. So here I will quickly show you the steps, just okay, first go to this ChatGPT and uh, I said that you can brainstorm your research ideas, topics and research gaps once that is done and then you can go to this research rabbit, this research rabbit and find the related articles. I'm not going into detail how to use this, the uh, more than one videos are available for this research rabbit on my channel like I have see for example I have two libraries here, one is related to HIV and CKD and other is related to HIV and uh, hyperkalemia and heart failure so these are available uh, and then this a uh, semantic scholar another great ai tool for literature review and finally you will use this pubmed and google scholar as well uh, to you know strengthen your literature review and your uh, research background this is the semantic scholar and the tutorials regarding semantic scholar is also available on the channel you can watch this so i hope that uh, uh, this bit a little talk on uh, doing a research in this AI era uh, will be helpful for you if you wish you can uh, just use this as a template as well thank you